and welcome to the third part of this video series. Uh, in this part we will render a, a square to the screen. So um, let's first make a, a kind of structure for all of our vertex data. So at the at top of the viewcontroller.m file type type dev struct and call it vertex data. Inside of it, you'll have for now only one variable that will be a GLK vector three is just a vector with the three components and call it and call this position coordinates. Okay. Now, now we need to define our vertices. So, the top of still, top of your file, type vertex data, vertices, and make this an array. Now, um, we need three vertices for one triangle, and we need two triangles for one square. So that's a total of six vertices. So the first one, oh yeah, and in OpenGL, uh, in, in OpenGL, it's like, so I have two axes, my x-axis and my y-axis. So, and the iPhone screen goes like from uh, bottom to top. So the bottom will be 0, 1 and the top is uh, 1. And the same goes from left to right. So left is 0, 1 and right is 1. So for a square, so here I've typed all of the vertices out, so you can just copy this. So yeah, um, again, this is the bottom right, bottom left, top left, and again the same, so top left twice for the second triangle, then uh, again with the bottom right, and we end with the uh, Top right, okay. So these are all of the vertices you need for a square. Okay, then go, uh, go to your. Now we have to take this data and send this over uh, to OpenGL land, and we can do this by using something called vertex or array buffers. So uh, the first thing we need is a way to keep to keep track of our buffer. And that's called a buffer ID. So, in Objective C, to define a, a variable in a class, uh, inside of your implementation block, so in your .m file, you just add uh, these brackets to your name. So, so right here at your add implementation view controller, you add two brackets, and and you just type. Your variables. So in our case, we want an unsigned GL integer called vertex buffer ID. Okay, then go to your view the load method, and the first thing you type is a GL gen buffers one and add sign vertex buffer ID. So here we say generate one buffer and send and uh, save the ID over uh, or at this variable and we pass it set by reference. Then we have to use our buffer. And to do that we just type gl bind buffer and we bind this to a gl array buffer. And again which buffer will bind so the one we just created. Okay, now we have to send the data to OpenGL. To do that, we do GL buffer data, and we will buffer an array. 
then we have to give OpenGL the size of our data. So we just type size of and our vertices array. Then we actually give the vertices and then we give a usage hint. So uh, we will use GL static drum, which basically means we um, that we won't ch change our data very often. So uh, yeah, so the GPU can use this to optimize its rendering, I guess. It's, it's an optimization now. Okay, now I have to explain uh, OpenGL, what the data in our array actually is. So, to do that, type GL enable vertex attribute array and GLK and with argument GLK vertex attribute position. And now we tell OpenGL that inside of our array we have position coordinates. Then we have to explain what those coordinates exactly mean and how they are set up. So type GL vertex attribute pointer with again the first argument GLK vertex attribute position. Then we have to give the amount of um, yeah the amount of attributes per vertex position. So in our case three. So one for the x, y, and z coordinates. So three. Then their type, they're all floats, so GL float, uh, normalize. Um, in case they're not floats, we want to make them float, but they are floats, so just type GL false. Yeah. Then the stride, so the size of our data, of our uh, data type, and so size of vertex data. Plus we just, yeah, because we're using uh, vertex data. For our vertices, and this and this last one is the stride, and so essentially the offset within the data type. In our case, uh, at the moment it is no. I'll explain what the stride actually is in other times, but for now, no, it's just no. There is no offset at the moment. Then go to your render method, and to actually draw something, we have to call the function gl draw arrays gl draw arrays and the mode will be gl triangles the first will be zero and the count we have six vertices okay and if we run this now it will not work uh, that has multiple reasons first off we have to actually uh, tell our effect we're using that we are about to draw so this will enable certain uh, open gel states for us. So just type prepare to draw and it still won't work. That's cause uh, our vertices don't have any color to them. And to use color we have to, and we can use our effect for that actually. So in your view that load method, Type self dot base effect dot use constant color equals yes and yes is uh, just like true in C plus plus so Objective C uses yes or no. Uh, you can also use true I think yeah true works works fine too but I'll use yes okay and then self dot base effect dot constant color and let's take red. So we have to give this a uh, vector with four components. So GLK vector for make. So make as a vector with four components. And for that we want one, zero, zero, and one for the alpha. So if you run this now, you'll get a red square which is slightly stretched. And I'll explain why the stretch in the next video. So see you then. Bye.